Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm heading south of San Francisco. As you can see, it's really foggy. Hopefully I will meet the sun at some point. But I'm pretty excited though, because I will swap the McLaren 720S for the McLaren new GT for the day. We're gonna test drive this car with my friend Chris. So tag along with me and enjoy. The Speedtail is a Hyper GT as well, uh, but that's the extreme segment. Correct, <laughs> correct. And they have the 540 GT as well. That's right? true, that's true. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, this is supposed to compete against the uh, Aston Martin Supergera, um, Bentley Continental GTs, mm -hmm. and I think maybe Ferrari 812 Superfast. Correct. In that sense. The only thing is that they call that the new rules for McLaren. They put the engine in the back instead of the front, and they put it so low that you have actually two two trunks in the front, in the back, really spacious. A lot of luggage space. It's a V8, four liter, twin turbos, 620 horsepower, and 630 newton meters of torque, and it weighs something like 1,500 and something kilograms. Yeah, that's what I know. That's cool. no, it's 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 pretty light. It's still. Like the 720 in terms of yeah, in terms of technology, you have the active suspension and all the active modes. You have the the carbon fiber tub exactly, is actually the, the same. The monocell two uh, carbon tub, um, extra pillars for the extra roof behind. But yeah, and you have this fantastic chromatic roof. Absolutely, that you can change if you want a little bit too much sun. You can darken it, but in super light mode, we got so much light inside. Visibility seems nice behind on your yeah, mirrors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's good. Really, really good. It feels like a supercar, not a GT. I, I've tried, you know, I've test drove some uh, Aston Martin, previous mm -hmm. generation, and some um, uh, Bentleys and stuff. And you really feel this car are, are GTs, Grand Tourers. They are, they are heavy, they are big, they are spacious, they are luxurious, mm -hmm. but not so sporty. That's right. Uh, maybe the new generation is, is better, but um, the one I've test drove, and, and especially I test drove in, in France on the circuit, uh, no, 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 Manicourt. 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 So uh -huh. you know, on track with GTs, it's not yeah. really what the, the purpose is for. And. Uh, yeah, it's still cold, so won't go crazy, but yeah. It comes in. It breathes. It 
Briggs. <laughs> it's alive. And I, I'm driving this car back to back with my 720S. So it's really interesting to compare. It's it's kind of really sharp actually. Um, not as sharp as the 720S, but the, the drive the driving responsivity is pretty good. Yeah, driving position always perfect in McLaren's and. And visibility, like visibility at the visibility front. Perfect. See, compared to most of our GTs, where you got a huge front, here you see really right in front of your nose. I mean, it's really good. Absolutely. Hi, c'est parti. Alors ça, c'est une route que je connais oh, vraiment bien. Ah, oh, fais gaffe quand même. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and see you in the next one.